Yo. No. Nah, that was that was flat. I say. I yo. got you. I got you. I got you. Yo. I'd never do that. No. That's insane. All right. Salutations. Hey, I like that. Yeah. That was smooth. Yeah. Well, uh, that that was it. Go. That was it. Welcome to episode 92 of Crash Dummies Podcast. I am Mike. That is Pat. Keep going, Patreon. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to the Patreon. Subscribe to YouTube. Um, oh, yeah. If you guys didn't know, we dropped a second episode on Saturday. So you That's guys are probably listening to this, you know, because you expect the episode. So we're going to try to drop two episodes a week now. And most of y'all can't count anyways. That's why we want to explain because yeah. I know y'all don't know this is 92. Yeah, so if you haven't listened to 91, 91, go listen to 91, listen to 92, and then know to expect a Saturday podcast this week. So we're going to always try to tell you on this podcast is we're going to do a Saturday one. So we are going to do a Saturday one. So expect to hear us on Saturday. Um, Patreon, we're going to... it's gonna put some exclusive stuff. I might do some IRL stuff. Uh, might stream the Depend- my boxing fight there if, too. If that nigga win, we streaming it. But if y'all see some shit, <laughs> if it didn't drop, he got dropped. <laughs> That's what happened. So, so hopefully, hopefully that go over well. Or I'm definitely doing prison time if Mike get knocked out. Yeah, I can't get knocked out. That shit definitely. So yeah, I'm doing two fights in two shots in the air. Shut the lights off. <laughs> doing one April seventh, and I'm doing one April fifteenth. So back to back weekends. Anyway, what what's been going on in in life? Uh, six nine got jumped. <laughs> oh yeah, he probably could have used some boxing lessons. That he needed it all. God damn. Yeah, I was hearing the reason he got jumped too was not even because like the snitching. I think they said when he disrespected like Puerto Ricans or something like that, and then um, that's fucked up. When you get ju- <laughs> when you getting jumped, he's like, man, I wonder what this is for. Like you <laughs> yeah. can't put. He talks so much shit, and they like. Yeah, motherfucker, you said all male man was bitches. You're like, God damn, when yeah. did I say that? But they, yeah, they they jumped them in in the the locker room of LA Fitness. The man had underwear and a, a Montclair on. It was yeah. a very random combination. Of the they are beating the shit out of. I him, always though. said about six nine because when he was in witness protection for a little bit, I was just like, and then he came out of witness protection and he still had the same hair and tattoos. Mm-hmm. I'm like. At least you could do is change your hair. Yeah. Like, you still got the rainbow stuff. It's just like... I don't think he cared, though. I think that's what he wanted to. I think he he does, from what academics say, he goes a lot of places by himself. Yeah. I think that's the first... I mean, he's been... The thing about him is, like, he usually beefs with other people that have money. Yeah. Other people that have a lot to lose. Yeah. So... And they weren't going to kill him inside the... LA Fitness. No, but although I'm, they could have very well killed him, I'm just saying, out of all the people that Six Nine <laughs> beef with, and you wonder like, oh, why ain't nobody ever ran down on Six Nine first? He literally just worked for the, like yeah. the police. He's an informant. Then he has security who are police officers, and he's like, like if you punch Six Nine, people are gonna know that you punch Six Nine. Yeah, like so, those dudes are gonna go to jail. Yeah, 100%. their faces are on camera and everything like yeah. that. They're going to jail. One of them niggas literally shaped like a bowling pin. That yeah. nigga's done. When you like shape weird, I feel like you shouldn't commit crimes <laughs> yeah. on camera. Just like yeah, nigga, we knew it was you. Nigga, you got uh, a double flab in the back of your neck, nigga. Yeah, two hot dogs. <laughs> oh yeah, Max is back. They were they were on you, bro. Yeah, I'm back from my PTO. <laughs> you didn't work enough for PTO yet. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was mad, bro. <laughs> It was, like one, it was just like one comment that, uh, what do you say, Mike? He was just like, I don't know. It was just something like that. He, he was yeah. like, Max hasn't been working here long enough. To get PTO. <laughs> yeah. Max was he was uh, <laughs> looking at Star Wars stuff. So. Yeah, I went to Disney. Yeah, I saw you, you sat on a lifesaver. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> <laughs> don't turn it on now. <laughs> uh, you remember when Baby Blue went to uh, from Pretty Ricky went to jail? Yeah, how many times you go bring this nigga up? <laughs> okay, bro, you get talked about more than any superstar for real, really randomly, but. This is what happened. He came out with a song. Do rag, got a shank in the cut stash. Kiss, I gotta cut a mustache. Woke up out that coma in the hospital with a shit bag in my bitch who out the fuck me when I got shot up. She jet lag. Cut me up in the ER bathroom, deep throw, no gag. I sell it smoking K2. I'm doing push ups in the do rag. So he came in out with a first day out song. <laughs> I've never heard him rap before. And he was only there for like 30 days. <laughs> like He wasn't there that long. He was there like six months. <laughs> and you don't know what transpired in the six months. Six months in jail is like forever. It's like a time capsule in that bitch. So he probably, he did push-ups. It sounded like he was doing K2. He probably joined a gang. 
<laughs> it was uh, it just that's just the but that's most the random. most clout he's going to have. Yeah, bro. I so didn't he know. Got to roll with it. He did. He was the one that rapped in Baby. Uh, yeah, uh, Pretty Baby. You heard oh. him rap before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Five, five, nine, 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 yeah, nine, yeah. Nine. I think that's him. That's one of them. <laughs> he was the rapper. It's always funny that boy bands back then kind of had like the. The singer, the one that'll actually kind of rap sometimes, yeah. and then the other kind of two singers. Or even if it was like singing, like somebody was a lead, somebody was like the like the low key favorite. Remember like the Saint Lunatics? Yeah. Everybody like knew Nelly was a man, but like everybody loved Murphy Lee and yeah, shit. Yeah, Murphy like Lee that. was my favorite. Yeah, every, that's everybody's yeah, favorite. Yeah. Murphy Lee and shit. But it's just like those boy bands back then, bro. It's terrible because it was really set up to make one person. So, yeah. like, one, it, literally, you see, uh, whatever, what was Justin Timberlake a part of? NSYNC. NSYNC. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to Max for that question. I don't know if you jumped <laughs> in. I was <don't> <laughs> hoping so you knew that. I went to my, let's go to your white friend. Hey, what, what was it? So, uh, Destiny's Child, mm-hmm. um, what was our mark? B2K, like, mm-hmm. all those groups were like. Who do you think was the favorite in, in B2K? What? No, the low key favorite. Um, none of them niggas. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was like Fizz. Mario. I thought oh, it was, no, it was Lil Fizz. Yeah, my yeah, fault. yeah, yeah. My fault. It was definitely Lil Fizz. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Definitely Lil Fizz. The low key favorite in Destiny's Child was had to be Kelly. Yeah, I feel like Michelle is. Yeah, it's definitely Kelly, and Kelly had a decent career. Mm-hmm. Um, Lunatics. What other group it was that somebody made it out of? Um. Somebody made it out of? Yeah. Uh, a lot of them in One Direction kind of made it out of. I feel like, damn, all of them. Yeah. Just made it. Damn. <laughs> hey, all of them landed on their feet pretty well. Yeah, damn. <laughs> that is rare to come from a show like that. Yeah. That's and none of them were even friends to begin with. They exactly. <laughs> no, they just got put together. They literally got put together they by all- Simon Cow because yeah. he's like, they had this genius idea. He probably stole from somebody and shit. Damn. Um, all right, so I don't know if you saw this or not, but a Mississippi news anchor was fired for saying this. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, we know it. She'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. A shizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> I'm telling you. Julie, what do you think about that? Huh. Huh, she says. <laughs> See, Julie knew not to hop in that shit. Why she? So she got fired for saying for she's shizzle, white. For saying for shizzle my what, nizzle. What does for shizzle my nizzle mean? Oh, but oh, damn, that's fucked. Yeah, <laughs> she fucked up. <laughs> she there's no way heard she, that saying. There's no way she knew what. Oh, that meant. she she definitely knew what that shit meant. Because uh, I hardly. Knew what that meant. But you definitely like when you just put it together. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Would you ever say for shizzle my nizzle, Max? What does it mean? <laughs> I told you it's not that co- it's not that common. It means Which, for sh- it means for sure, my nigga. Okay, I assume that. Yeah, it, it sucks for her, but hey, another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> get her the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, man, that's perfect. One. Hey, we gotta get we new go. sounds. We definitely Next week do. we're gonna do <laughs> new sounds for sure. We gotta remember to do that. Hey, one thing I do know is I'm not talking to no nigga that's under 35. Like we we can't be friends if you under thirty five with a bald head. That bald? just yeah, and you're you have a straight clean bald head. Why? I can't talk to a nigga that gave up. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're thirty one with a bald head, nigga. <laughs> you got no fight in you. Nigga. <laughs> You got no perseverance. What else would they, be, would, would they have done? No perseverance. Like, hey, go get some money. Go to Turkey. Get some hair plugs. All these pills out here. <laughs> so all these pills. Hey, that help you got that niggas dying. Hey, <laughs> hair growth. <laughs> and you you bought at 32? Why are you giving up? Don't give up now. <laughs> some people probably didn't give up, though. It probably just happened. Yeah. When? This shit don't <laughs> happen overnight. Like, oh, shit, I woke up bald-headed. <laughs> Like, no, nah, you knew that shit was coming. And then it starts looking stupid, though. Hey, Stephen A ain't give up. <laughs> yeah, but he always get fried for his lining. Hey, he get fried for his lining by guys. KD's <laughs> hair is pretty bad, too, isn't it, in the back? Yeah, we're not going to talk about KD. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with KD. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> what? I ain't going to say nothing. I'll leave it to you, Max. <laughs> oh, I- Max dissing you, KD, not me. <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Um... <laughs> IG is about to do the Instagram is going to do the verification thing for $15 a month. So all you got to do is really show your uh, like your government ID 
your government ID and you get approved. And some people are kind of mad about it because there's a lot of those people that kind of like, quote unquote, worked for their um, <laughs> their verification badge. Right. I know people that are paying like 15 grand for that shit yeah, I know, to get verified. I know niggas that's fifth string on a uh, Colorado football team that's verified. These niggas just handing away blue <laughs> Like, make this nigga touch the field first. God <laughs> damn. But, um, that man ain't even scored in practice. Got a verification check mark. I think, I think it makes sense, though, because there's – some added added things that kind of come with the verification. I think you get um an actual customer support person. Um, if your account gets hacked, you kind of get um you know better stuff. And then you just it, it's just a verified account, so they know that's you. You know that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that. Yeah. This shit, there's all that shit. People about to copy Twitter. The verification. You actually got to be talented now. Sorry, fuck niggas. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But for fifteen dollars a month, that's a, that's a great way to make some money. How much, no. is, how much is Twitter? Eight eight bucks? Something like that. What are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just want to ask you a question. If people had social media back in the Bible days, what would be some of the things that were on social media? Um, They'd be posting, like, their captions would just be, like, quotes from the Bible, probably. Hell no. Nah. They would probably post... <laughs> <laughs> they'd probably post, like, the crucif- uh, crucifixion. Yeah. Yeah, that they might post that. Crucif- what did I say? Crucifixation. Like, Damn. what the fuck? <laughs> there you go, making no words again. First, to just speak Puerto Rican. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's funny. It's funny because I don't think people know when I'm trolling. Nah, you weren't trolling. No, I swear I was trolling. I just trolling. want you to agree with me and you agree, so I hey, moved on. I forgot to say something after that. That's something you can't, like, somebody come at you <laughs> like, hey, people do speak Puerto Rican. You're like, this nigga got inside information or something. Because <laughs> I, I used to get mad when people said, oh, do you speak Nigerian? Because so it would be the same it's thing. Ibo. Ibo. Ebo. Yeah, yeah. But what were we just talking about? Oh, if they had social media back in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, I think the crucifixion. Bro, <laughs> crucifixion. The crucifixion. You think people would have been t- like recording it or something? Yeah, they because I just think about like the way things are now when like things are political and stuff like that. Yeah. One side is really against one, and one side is really for. So it definitely would have been like very toxic. Because especially like when they said Jesus Christ was doing all like the walking on water, turning water into wine, that type of stuff. It would have been like one of those people be like, oh, that's conspiracy theory and shit like that. I think that's what would have been more of a. I was looking more forward to like the hating tweets. Oh, hating on Jesus like, is crazy. No, nah, hating on everybody. Like the the Just, people, that, all the people that I hated on, mm-hmm. like the, the tweets would be funny. Well, like who? Like, oh, damn. This nigga know what think he it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Big tie coming. <laughs> and they be taking pictures like, look, this dude got two lions. Stupid ass boy. <laughs> Two lions. This boy got two of every animal. Take two of these nuts, nigga. That shit ain't gonna work. <laughs> like, I bet David won't do that shit to me. <laughs> I ain't right. Goliath. That ain't Goliath. Goliath was a big hoe. <laughs> Goliath probably was some, like, six, six eight soft, soft ass dude. Uh, Goliath got to be rolling his grave night right now, knowing, knowing people are using him for uh, a beacon of hope. Right. That you can, it doesn't you, matter how big you are. Right. <laughs> you can still be lazy as shit. Right. Glad wasn't putting in no work, yeah. wasn't working out, thought he'd just be 6'8 and dominate. <laughs> Sorry, you can't. That's like, a, that is like equivalent to that one, you know, I don't got a fight, I got a gun type of shit. Yeah. Because he had the slingshot. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> He's the first person to bring a gun to a knife fight. Yeah. <laughs> Show <Show> dumb ass on. <laughs> also, when, when Jesus came back, yeah. I know Twitter was hot. I told y'all boys. <laughs> I told y'all boys. What's up now? What's up now? I told y'all I thought I was lying. Because <laughs> you know it's that dude every day. I'm telling you, my boy said he coming back. <laughs> he going, hey, he got something for us too. Listen, <laughs> he said listen, got something for us. Listen, he, he not even that type of nigga. You feel me? He not going he not going to retaliate against y'all. He going up. He about to do something for us. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. He about to forgive us for our sins. <laughs> he fucking with us. So I'm going to need y'all to fuck with him when he come back. Y'all <laughs> good. I get it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all took him. Y'all did that to my boy, but he good. I'm about to go move this rock. Help my boy get up out of here. He about to see. He come back. <laughs> Shit. We're going to work. We're going to work. Hey, I'm going to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, 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 bro. I'm just, I'm the shit. 
You know my crew shit. They call it 12 Disciples, 12D. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. 12D is insane. <laughs> Whatever you say, you know what I'm saying? Except that nigga at the Last Supper, we got to fuck him up. But, uh, who was that? Who, who was at the Last Judas? Supper? Judas? It Judas. Judas. He a traitor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you do? I don't think the Last Supper was... It was the... Okay. I thought it was just a, a normal painting or something random, but it is the, the paint. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally the Last Supper. Yeah, literally the Last Supper. It was, was it called that when they went there? I would have been kind of nervous. What? Like, hey, bros, come over. About to go, I'm about to have this little... Uh, <laughs> this event called the Last Supper. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy to you? Like, okay, am I gonna like? Is it my last supper or right. your last Who supper? Who last supper? Is it? <laughs> and why are we taking a picture? <laughs> and why are we all sitting on this side of the table? <laughs> Fuck going that on. Is, <laughs> they, they were all on one they, side. They <laughs> <laughs> Next stiffest hell after the night. Yay! <laughs> y'all know I love y'all, right? <laughs> all twelve of y'all, <laughs> and one of y'all. He's going to betray me. <laughs> it's me, nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. That was the first rat. No, yeah. yeah. Say, God, I mean, Jesus is real, though. Jesus is real. He, he knew who his ops was and was still, he kept them close. Kept the message going, even though they fucked up his Bible a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they got slave shit in your Bible and everything. <laughs> Talking about you need to have slaves. <laughs> They're trying to uh, ban TikTok. Sheesh! It's almost out of there. I feel like they, is is there? There's no real way of banning. Something. What? That's why I'm saying. What's banned in America? That's like on the web. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Even, I know they recently uh, banned uh, porn in like down south in the state. It's like banned. Like they got to show. They got to show oh, ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Imagine yeah. having to show ID before you get freaky. I know. You see your coworker I there. Feel, I feel like that would keep everybody <laughs> modest on there. Like, yeah. yeah, just I'm looking for a little missionary. Like you can't type it. <laughs> Dude, want to get kicked in his nuts and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can't type that in because they got your ID. Like, okay, we watching you, Robert yeah. Williams. The worst part is like if you actually did see your coworker. Like, How, what do you mean? See, so if I'm trying to verify, because somebody has to verify the ID, right? Like, a oh, human. right. <laughs> That'd be a crazy job. Though. <laughs> you see all the freaks. That shit probably wouldn't even bother you no more. Yeah. <laughs> you might be like so jaded to that shit. Oh, yeah. The, you know, every week, you know, I really don't like violence like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to keep peaceful. But that groundhog nigga got to die. <laughs> 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 I'm so tired of this pump faking ass little rabbit looking <laughs> have wanna be dog, you fat beaver looking bitch. <laughs> oh, you can't no way. Why do you have beef with the groundhog? Nigga come up talking about, oh yeah, spring coming earlier, then he dip, and then the shit don't. Like, we tired of this what? lying ass nigga. <laughs> so you want accountability? Bro, this is one of the worst winters ever. Hell yeah, bro. He should be hung. <laughs> no. At Town Square. <laughs> Hey, hey, every groundhog that gets something wrong, they should hang up. Like, yeah, this is what happened. You want to guess. Hey, this go for all you niggas. You want to guess when spring is and you roll? And you got us over here hype. And you got to do, I put away my coat, nigga. It's been cold ever since. The fuck? They keep letting this dude go. And why? What's wrong with America, bro? Why are we counting on a groundhog? Like, the fuck? I mean, meteorologists. We've been are... to the moon, right? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas been to the moon, but when it comes to it's spring coming early, we're going to rely on a beaver. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> fucking beaver. <laughs> this, nigga is, this nigga is a beaver hybrid. They rely on us. This nigga a beaver without a tail. <laughs> Talking about, yeah. And they watching this nigga. <laughs> they just watching him. Oh yeah, he came out early. Spring coming. Early. That's crazy. Groundhogs are really never talked about besides Groundhog Day. That's what I'm saying. These <laughs> boys some hoes, boy. <laughs> they just fuck shit up and leave. <laughs> yeah, I believe. Hey, something. <laughs> oh man, you're about the Rihanna thing. It's like some dude like got arrested because he like went to her house and like knocked on her door and like proposed to her. No, that's crazy. I mean, he, des- he definitely deserves to get arrested. <laughs> yeah. No, he like dudes like that. Like they can't, they can't recover, bro. It's definitely like a, a mental. Sickness. Like you can't recover. Like you made it all the way there, and then propose. Like I would rather you pistol with Rihanna <laughs> and go in and go get jewelry, because then I think like okay, he had a motive that could actually get done. Like, mm. but you went there to propose to Rihanna. You fixated in your head. That damn, she's going to say yes because that's the only way you would propose. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It got to be a mental sickness. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Lock him up forever. 
You just need some therapy. You think you need life? Unfixable. Life? Unfixable. You can't fix a nigga <laughs> like that. You don't think so? Hell no. He's unfixable. Some people just need rehab. Either that or uh, work at McDonald's. I don't even think he got to the door. I think he like got to like the gate and was like, I don't know what he was doing, but he just got arrested at the gate. That's insane, bro. That's insane. Insane. I just want to know, is, uh, like, you know, the famous song out here, the national anthem of Philly right now, is, I just want to rock. Mm-hmm. Right? What's the lyrics to that, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is that song about crack? Let me look up the rap genius. <laughs> look up the lyrics. It might just, I don't. Look up the lyrics. Let's read the lyrics. I just want to rock. Body, adi, yeah. Damn, damn, whoa. This ain't what you want. Project X. Oh, no, Project. Oh, that's a, that drop. Um, this ain't what you want. Ah, 1600, 1600 block. I just want to rock. I just want to, ah, 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 ah. I just want to rock. Body, yeah. <laughs> Shotty got the body, ah. Ah, ah, hit her once, no ties. How the fuck you going to kill my vibe? Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my high. One, two, three, four. Throw up the five. <laughs> That's where Beethoven wrote this shit. So <laughs> cry right now. That shit is beautiful. <laughs> that shit. That shit definitely about crack though. <laughs> it gotta be right. Hundred percent. Like that shit. It sounds like somebody had a. That crack. shit was hard to read. I'm not gonna lie. That shit. <laughs> it's like one of those songs you don't want to you can't sing for real without sounding dumb yeah cause it's just like body yeah 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 so I didn't want to put like my all my, my all into singing it yeah so I had to say as proper as possible because it just it, you it, need the club to be loud as yeah. a, actually I've never heard anybody say the lyrics to it they yeah. just do the dance to it's it it's not like a normal song too it's more techno it's not like if I was singing like I'll take you to the candy shop I'll get you it still has some, a lot of hits. But you don't know the fucking song, do you? Damn. No, I'll take you to the candy shop. Uh-uh. Damn. Oh, no, no, no. Wow. I know, I know, I know. Uh, it is candy shop. Uh-uh. Take this nigga visa for, back. Go to turn for what you want. Uh-uh. Keep going to hit the spot. Oh. You're wrong. What, what was the middle part then? I take you to the candy shop. Mm. I like I'll, you, I'll let you, you lick the lollipop. No, what that wasn't it. Fuck? No, I, you, stop cutting me off. <laughs> you try to use that because you got it wrong. No, go ahead. I you just say lollipop I, though. Yeah, that's the next line. Is it? I take you to the candy shop. I let I let you lick the lollipop. I thought it was I let you get what something, you want. Something don't you stop until they get the top. Let me uh, candy shop. I'll take you to the candy shop. I was right. I let you lick the lollipop. Go ahead, girl. Don't you stop. Keep going till I hit the spot. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Uh, yeah, you wrong. Visa expired. Gone. <laughs> Over 50 cent? Hell yeah. He's an American hero. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. is kind of, though. He really is. Yeah. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> Never seen him lose a beef. Huh? <laughs> so did you see uh, the guy? So a guy took his girl to the concert. Right mm. to a Chris Brown concert. Mm, yeah, she got caught on stage, and Chris Brown gave her a lap dance. Obviously, she was really into it. He broke up with her after. Yeah, I saw. Was that. he in the right? See, I wouldn't get mad if like the return, if like it's like reciprocated. What? Whoa, you want Chris Brown? No. <laughs> Wait, so she was like, she no, was like, she was no like, what? I'm just, I just say if what? I went to like a you Tiana. Like, oh, t- no, Chris. <laughs> you gonna grind on my girl? You gotta be grinding yeah. on me too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about like saying you go to like a Tiana Taylor concert and then Tiana Taylor. Oh my god, my mind is in the gutter. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck would Tiana Trump have a concert? <laughs> and where but is it? If I went to, because you know she does the lap dance thing, but usually to girls, obviously. But um, if if I could do that and the person I'm with not get mad, but you will never like. No, that, I'm just saying that if, is like I, if that was that same type of attitude, like if that was like the thing that duh, they're gonna say yes after getting a lap dance. Oh, then we're good then. As long as I know you can do the same. The thing, thing is, is like you gotta know, like so. There's certain people, like everybody, when you talk to a girl, right? You listen to her music eventually, right? Mm-hmm. You're like, damn, Chris Brown is on your playlist a lot. Right then and there. 
that shows you that she would even geek at the opportunity. The only reason why she's not with Chris Brown is because Chris Brown does not want to be with her. You I think that with any artist over you. Yeah, you have to be okay with that. Yeah. You have to be okay. That's 90 percent of the women on earth. Mm-hmm. If they could get their dream guy, you are not it. There's 10 percent that think they just met their soulmate and that's them. The other 90 percent is like, I listen to fucking Jaheem every day. <laughs> If I saw Jaheim in person, Jaheim is a crazy yeah, example. Crazy. I think it's the most insane example I've ever heard. I think it's take. I'll think it take. Jaheim, <laughs> my nigga Jaheim. <laughs> what the? I've never heard that name in so long. Shout out to my nigga Why is that shit in your vocabulary? I don't know. <laughs> that's insane. But I'm just saying. But that's just that's just women. It's the same thing with guys though too. Yeah. It's just like oh if. Such and such, Beyonce called you on stage and was just like, oh, I want to give you lap dance. Or say, I want to be with you. <laughs> That's a tough decision, right? <laughs> it ain't the fact, but it ain't the fact that you were like, if you're in a relationship, you would disrespect the person you're in a relationship yeah. with. It's the fact that it's a thought. Because if a random girl came up to you and she looked good, she'd be like, I want to be with you. You'd be like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. Mm. I'm I, I yeah. got a relationship right now. But Beyonce, even if you say no, there's a huge thought process. <laughs> At least three, four days, you're going through like, damn, her baby daddy going to be Jay-Z. Can I handle that? She's coming with three kids, but she is the queen. I had a beehive behind me. Shit, this is a tough decision. That's a three, yeah, four day decision. Yeah. You got to know that she's going to a Chris Brown concert. And it's like playing a lottery, like. She's not going to pass up that moment. Mm -hmm. You got to be okay. At least she didn't. Did she go backstage and she disappeared for two hours? Yeah. That's a difference. Yeah, that's a difference. I feel like if you go somewhere, um, (laughs) if there's anything beyond that, it's just like one of those things you can't do nothing about it. No. No. What you do, bro? It's like it's Chris Brown. It's like yeah, Chris Brown wants your girl. He's gonna come get you. Yeah, girl. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's like the opposite of a lottery, nigga. You've been chosen. <laughs> hey, hey, it sucks. It's just all right. It's all about like if you had to go pick her up from the tour bus, then, <laughs> <laughs> then you should have had picked her up. She made it to the tour bus. Talking about he was just showing her his new song. Yeah, that's who he was. She got the unreleased, the unreleased Chris Brown. Like, I wait, where? No, I bet you it's released, Chris Brown. <laughs> you hear an unreleased Chris Brown song playing, and you're and when you get home, you're like, no, <laughs> how the fuck you get this? <laughs> how the fuck you get this? <laughs> so, what's the craziest job you ever worked? I like, I wouldn't call it a job. I more likely got paid for it, type deal. Pay oh. f- pay for what? Um, kicking a guy in his balls. Wait, what? Kicking a guy in his balls. So, like on like a dom, dom what is it called? Like a dominatrix? Domin- Almost, dominatrix? but like I'm not like that at all. Wait, so how did you like? How does this conversation start? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, well, <laughs> hey! I see you at the no, gym. Wait. The legs look strong as hell. Hell no, nah, not like that. But like, what had happened was we. Like, we match on some dating app or whatever, and we were texting, there's no red flags, there's no weird shit. And so we went on a date, and he's like, you're cool and all, we having fun, whatever, but, like, I'm not here to date. And I was like, what the fuck am I here for? And he was like, well, like, I like to get my balls kicked. I was like, yo, like, I'm not into that. He's like, no, nah, I'll pay you. And I was like, how much are we talking? And he's like, 400 400 Just to kick you? you yeah. You got to keep all your clothes on. Yeah, no, he said, keep all your clothes on. Bring the hardest shoes you got. <laughs> I just want to know your process of going home and going through your closet. Like, hmm, let's go with the... No, I was like, that's fine. I'm going to wear my steel toe boots, my cowgirl boots. I'm going over there. I don't care what I'm wearing. <laughs> so you hyped so you went. So you show. went home and then went back to this place? You didn't You have no, like, red flags? You didn't tell anybody you were going over there because... People was going there. Like everyone has my location. And I told my mom, I was like, okay. I'm gonna go kick some guys' balls for four hundred bucks. I'll be back. So let's let's and- let's go through the process. Did y'all sit down and drink wine before the ball kicking, or is this just like <laughs> straight to it? Like he bent over at the door. <laughs> it was like any foreplay. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> foreplay is crazy. <laughs> but no, like we legit. I went in there and like we chopped it up for like maybe two minutes and he's like, Won't you come to my room? And I was like, mm, okay. And so like we go in there 
And he's like, he like takes his pants off like your dog. I'm not trying to see it. And he's like, no, like you're not gonna see it. And I was like, oh, so you're keeping your boxers on? And he was like, yeah. So he keeps them on, and he like full on like sumo squats, puts his hands behind his head type deal. He's like, go. And I was like, uh, you serious? Nah, saying <laughs> go <laughs> is insane. That nigga, you ain't the. First you didn't girl. think you're gonna die at any point at this whole thing? No, you said what? You didn't feel like you were gonna die at any point of this? No, he's he's a skinny white guy. Like I wasn't really too worried. That can take a kick in the balls. You was messing with the most dangerous <laughs> diabolical <laughs> motherfucker on earth. So so explain. How many kicks? Let's go. Yeah, let's let's go. talk about the kicks. Let's we talk. like. So I did one. I, I feel like this hard. ain't no fucking we. You, it's you. <laughs> you did everything. This nigga squatted with his hands behind his back. All right, he squatted, and what happened? I kicked him one time. He's like, that's too low. And I was like, you sure? Like, I'm not trying to kill you. And he was like, no, like, kick it harder. And so, like, I, like, swam like I was on soccer about to kick it, like, a punk goal or whatever. And I kicked him. And he, like, crosses his legs, gets down, and, like, not breathing. And I was like, are you okay? And he's like, shut the fuck up and do it again. I was like, my bad. Whoa. Like, like, this nigga. Where's- and so we did it. For like four Stop times. Stop saying we. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it like <laughs> So you did it four more times. Like, okay, after the last. I did it four more times. At the last time, he gave me a thumbs up, and he's like, you can go now. I was like, <laughs> he's like, your money's on the counter. My money was on the counter. I think he gave and you so, a thumbs up. It's insane. But then he texted me after that. He's like, I had really good fun. Like, my friend wants to do it. I was like, whoa. I was like, what's the pay now? And he was like, two grand. I was like, shit, I'll do it for two grand. So you went back and kicked his friend's balls? Kicked him and his friends. Were they both bent over at the same time? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they were, like, standing next to each other and, like, doing the same position, you know, sumo squat, everything, only in boxers. So they lined and up. I had to go one- yeah, they lined up, and I'm going one at a time. <laughs> and I did it maybe, like, like six times each person and I, like i got two grand out of it i know they group chat go crazy they like man i didn't find me a girl with a strong ass leg i don't, <laughs> I don't believe you robert <laughs> i'll invite you over i'm telling you she'll make you crisscross and scream that's crazy so there's no more connection with him you done with him no like after that he's like we had fun but like i found a girl who can kick stronger than you so like <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> you okay, have fun. I ain't okay. gonna lie, you should have been working out a little bit harder. <laughs> you should have went to the so gym. So blue raises something. You should have got. You should have hired you a trainer. Like, damn, I gotta well, keep I didn't this think job. No, nah, you should have been training. Gonna... <laughs> you said what? I didn't think I was gonna keep going. You should have got some harder boots. You should have been working out that some. leg. <laughs> You, squatting you, the day before. You messed up the bag. You let some girl come in there uh, kicking like Cristiano Ronaldo to take your <laughs> damn job. They probably got the McCollish soccer player. Soccer player. Like, yeah. Hell no. We got us all American, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, thanks for t- coming on. You got anything to plug? I uh, know I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we just gotta get it. I don't want no one to know who yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's two people that know who you is. <laughs> no, you don't. You gotta, you gotta block it out. The memory. No, no, out. no, no, no. Not us. We saying the two dudes that you kicked in the balls. They know who you oh, is. Oh shit. <laughs> they listening to this right now, rubbing their balls like good old leg right there. <laughs> Should have kept her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got your neck. You too. Bye-bye. Right, bye bye. If you think about it, the friend is the one that fired her ass because dude probably went back bragging like, bro, I swear to God, I got one. She could kick hard as hell, bro. <laughs> and then dude was like, hell no, nah, I don't believe you. Huh? Line her up. Let's go. Let's go see. And then after that, he came back like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I got a stronger one than that. Yeah, yeah. That's how she lost her job. Freaking gateway. The friend is the king. He come yeah. and test. Like, let me see if you got a real kicker over here. <laughs> How do you even find out that you're into that shit? Like, I don't know. Some dude just got hit in the balls. Yeah, like, nah, probably, he, probably on the accident. And then, nah, he probably was offending a girl and shit like that. And she was like, "You dick," and need him in the balls. He said, "Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> come do that again." <laughs> <laughs> he probably got t- he probably got tired. He was probably he probably been uh, offending girls on purpose, ho- hoping to get hit in the nuts. They keep slapping him in his face, just a little bit lower. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>
What's good, y'all? You on Crash Every's podcast? What's the deal? Very much chilling, chilling. So, um, you said you had a job at a warehouse that did what? These motherfuckers made sex toys. So, uh, I'm like fresh, like I'm fresh eighteen, like just turned eighteen when I got this job, right? I'm applying for anything, any, like, I was applying for any and everything. So that was the first thing that hit me back up. So we go through orientation. A week later, we get to the warehouse, and I'm looking around like, this this, not what it said in the fucking, y'all didn't say shit about this in the orientation. Wait, wait this, what they say in the orientation? Like, where did you think you were going? We, like, I didn't know what I was going to be doing. I was <laughs> there. <laughs> no, there's got to be some type of assault. like Squid something. Games. <laughs> I wasn't even, I, to be honest, I probably wasn't even paying attention. But All right, you get there, and then what happened? Some, I don't know if they did or if they didn't. So you get there, and then what happens? I get there, and I'm looking, I'm looking around, like, like, the way, like, the building, like, the first part you walk in, the like, shit, you can't dick. see anything. <laughs> Go ahead. Like you can't see anything at all. And then you go through like three sets of doors. And then the back part of the warehouse, you see like all the plastic and stuff, all the boxes. It, it was just weird as hell to me. Because I I'm, I'm was I was just freshly 18. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> that boy feel like he got violated. Uh... I kind of, I feel like I did. So how long you worked there? About two weeks. <laughs> hey, what was the like the last straw for you? What was the biggest one you grabbed? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but we what, were, like, what did it for you? What did it for me was it was it was a coworker that did it for me. Cause <laughs> I he might have been gay. I don't know if he was or if he wasn't. I'm not sure. But he picked up one of the dildos for some reason. I don't know what the fuck he had going on. And put it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. been my last day, too, nigga. Yeah, that was my last day right there. I went on lunch. It was a and never come back. <laughs> that nigga. He was trying to show you what he could do. Like, shit, man. He probably he wasn't suing me because I'm not on that side. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, it was crazy. It was real crazy. And So you were just pack, you was grabbing them, packaging them? Pretty much, yeah. It was like Was it different sizes or it's just like Bro, it was like it was like all different type like all like literally all types of sex toys, like flesh like the move and all that. <laughs> oh these packages. <laughs> hey, did you take a flashlight home or no? What? I didn't hear you. Did you take a flashlight home or no? No, no, no. Did you take any of those items home? I don't no, I don't think they probably would let us. <laughs> That's insane. That right, what, was, what was the one yeah. toy that you were surprised? Because you say you just turned eighteen, so it, it might have been like a lot of toys you never seen. What was like the first one you saw that was like, oh shit? Nah, it was it was uh, it was one. It was like a giant fist. A fist? Yeah, like a a balled up like. <laughs> was it, it black? Like a, nah, it was like it I, was, I thought it was, it was a color. black power fist. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it not nah, it went like that. If I would have thought that would have been the first thing I would have said. But uh, it was it's like, and it's hard to explain like how it was gestured. But like it was, damn. All I know is now that I'm older and I've seen that, I'd never go there again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's an insane. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna give you some advice. This is some shit you can keep to yourself for the rest of your life. <laughs> It never got Bro, no. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, everybody knows because I was, I was, I was a crazy ass kid anyway. So I would tell everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work at a such and such. They were like, you were where? Like Adam and Eve? I'm like, nah, not like Adam and Eve. It's way worse. Now nah, that's crazy. They got you moving different sizes and stuff because you know some of the dildos they they made off other people like they shaped. Like yeah, they I, do the clay yeah, thing. So yeah. that's what you was probably handling. Yeah. Like the, the yeah. hollow side of somebody's dick. <laughs> so. Yeah, I wasn't with that shit. After two weeks, I just left. Two weeks. Two weeks. 
<laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you for coming on. You got a paycheck, though. All right. All right. Yo, yo. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. Thank you. <laughs> I just said welcome. You said thank, well, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> what up, though? Hey, how you doing? What type? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I, don't know. I ain't like how you said that. <laughs> I said, hey, what up? Pause, that nigga said, hey, how you doing? Pause. Like, I was one of his girls or something. Nah, bro. This nigga nervous. I don't know. Man, yeah. I just gotta work, man. I'm tired of shit. Nah, that nigga nervous. He's trying to act tired. I feel you. Uh, you well, said, no, listen, listen, listen. What's up? What's the craziest job you ever had? All right. So, basically, when I was younger, so you see, like, my dad, he asked him, right? So, he would have these random ass jobs for me and my little brother do when we was little. And this one job, we had went to this farm and we was basically working for like this white lady and white man. And like, I had found out that the white lady was racist as shit. And they had us on the field. So like, she had, bro, we went to the backyard and shit. The man was like, he was cool as shit. He was like, hey, I get all the, um, get all the bushes and the trees, get to cut them down and shit. And then get rid of it. He's gonna pay us a bunch. All right, pay shit. So we doing that, and it's like we an hour in, and all I hear, I don't know, I don't know if the white lady you think, like I don't think, I don't think she's heard. Oh, I thought we could hear her, but she had said to the white man, "Hey, these these um Africans working faster than Mexican." It's like, oh shit, Dad. She said we working hard, and I, I ain't at the time think, oh, that's racist. But then another hour go by. We finished um, taking all the bushes out, and I put I, I'm throwing the trash into the truck. And all I hear is uh, her drunk ass. I was like, "Oh, fucking finally, these niggers are done." It's like, damn, she just called us some niggers. You kept... and my dad just went. He said, "What? What your dad do?" My dad was mad, but like he, my mom was stopping him from doing any shit, anything because like we need the money. Now your dad so was like in the early two thousands. <laughs> You know, early 2000s, you said what? Yeah, your dad a hoe for that. I ain't gonna lie. You need the G check. Hell no, bro. Nah, he a hoe. Bro. Bro. You need the check, bro. Tighten up. Nah. You gotta check him. Nah, my mom had to. Yeah. He don't play that shit. Nah. Y'all shouldn't have been working there in the first place. Bro, it's it's the early 2000s. Y'all fucking immigrants. Like, early 2000s. <laughs> like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. It, it got immigrants and you need and you need bread, bro. Like, it was hard. Yeah, I feel and, you. I ain't gonna doubt like, that you know, part. I know, I know Mike now talking about. Fucking African air. <laughs> Where in Africa are you even from? That was such a broad thing. Mali. Mali. <laughs> Mali? Big Mali, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, we got some African beef. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, can you hear me? Yo, 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 yo. So you got a couple of things we can let's 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 you said you got let's do the, <laughs> let's do the voice impressions first and then we'll do the job after. Nah, I talked to you before. You did? Bro, yeah, literally like last <laughs> oh week. Oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> Stop, bro. <laughs> this shit, bro, how you how? What's the craziest job you ever had? All right, bet. So, you know how, like, I don't think it's really active anymore, but you know, like, sex workers and shit like that? Yeah. All right, word. So, basically, people are just calling a number or whatever, depending on what they, wherever they find the number, either on, like, websites, you know what I'm saying, sites like that, or whatever they find the number. They call in a number, they get a menu or whatever. It's like an automated voice message. They get the message and then they get transferred to me. You know what I'm saying? You get through the call, you don't want to talk to a nigga talking about some how I'm gonna help you today type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I put the voice on over there and like <clears throat> Um hello how may I help you? You know what I'm saying? Like that. So they get to me, they talk to me or whatever. It's either they want a sex talk. Hold on, before I go there. <laughs> I'm not the one to, I, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Not me, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. No, no, no. Not me, not me, though. Not me, not me, though. No, you already said he just used the voice. No, you can't. But it ain't me, though. I'm talking to them. Hold on, not like that. Hold on. No, you're done. You're caught. 
No, nah, wait, wait. So, like, they, they get on the phone. They get on the phone. Wait, they get on the phone with me. I talk to them about, like, what they want or whatever. They'll flirt. They'll flirt type shit, but I'm not gay. So, I just laugh it off. Shit, you know what I'm saying? You can't. I'm not. I don't do the calls and shit like that. I just talk to them. I'd be like, "Okay, how many we help you?" Like, <laughs> wait. You know what I'm so you worked at an escort hotline? Yeah, pretty much. I didn't know it was called that, but yeah. Oh, did they? I know it's somebody that recognize your voice is sick as fuck right now. Hey, wait, wait. They wouldn't be sick. Hold on, <laughs> I'm not the one on the phone. No. God. I redirect the calls. You know what I'm saying? I do. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm redirect. Like middleman. Hey, no. <laughs> because hey, you just said you. Hold so on, you gave them the on. menu, right? So you gave them the menu of things that they could get, right? Yeah. So I, what was like on the menu then? Okay, so it's either like, like on the phone, like phone calls for at least thirty minutes to an hour. They get explain the prices. Uh, they get the video chat, or I forgot. I don't know. I think it was just those. It was either those two options, or yeah, just video call or. Nah, but I no. Think. The most important thing is here that we I think we we skipping over is that you using your girl voice when a nigga is transferring over after he just got his rocks off. But when you put it like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All I'm trying to say it was good money. I couldn't do a long term though. What made you quit? Well, I think somebody, uh, somebody really no. Somebody really took my job because <laughs> no I, I wasn't taking all the calls. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I couldn't do it. Like you know what I'm saying? Because what was the craziest thing <laughs> a guy then told you then? Um, straight away, niggas just start feeding his meat on the phone call. You hear it in his voice. <laughs> no. Like he get transferred to me. I'm talking. To, I'm like, hello. Well, I can't read really it. I'm like. <clears throat> I just have no, 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 no. Just tell us no, regular. This how I went. This how I went. Oh my God. Hey, I can't talk to you in just one voice. You know, I gotta. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> no. Go ahead. I'm like, I'm like. Hey, how's your day going? How may I help you? And then he, um, and you know, you just, I'm not gonna do it, but you know how it sounds. You know, Pat, you be doing it all the time, man. Whoa, so, whoa, that's all whoa. you hear. That's all you hear. He, you just hear him grunting. And I'm like, I'm just he's saying hello, hello, hello. And then he not, you know what I'm saying? He not saying nothing. So I stopped talking. I'm getting ready to hang up. He's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he said, repeat the menu. <laughs> oh, no. he, was trying to, he was trying to get a free one on. <laughs> oh, God. So I had to hang up. And it's like, you call a no caller ID, though, but it's still like the calls get transferred. So he just called through, got the customer service, and then got transferred right back to me. And then he just waiting. As soon as I started talking, I'm like, I think it's the same nigga. He ain't saying nothing. I'm talking to him, no, no response. He like just, just, just a couple more seconds. So I had to phone number. <laughs> I had to hang up for this day. So that's what but, got you out of there, huh? Uh, <laughs> Wait, that, that was enough. The money was good. Hey, the money was good. <laughs> what was the money? The money was good. <laughs> what was the money? The money was kind of good, so. Thank God for that, bro. That's what got me on the fire, bro. <laughs> Josh, huh? yo, hello. You know who this is? No. All right, man. So last it's week, Max. it's Max. It's Max. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hello. So last week, I don't know if you know who I am. Uh, you and your friend bumped me and my friend. I don't know. People are saying that you guys want to fight us, or I'm not understanding this. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. You kind of make me mad. All right. So you know Max, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, is this a podcast? No, 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 no. Podcast? What the fuck is he talking about? Podcast. Who, who is this? We, okay. So your friend Max was talking shit. So we're trying to figure out if you with him or not. Cause we about to beat the shit out of Max. Um, is well, that, I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm not with him. No, is that currently. your boy? Because if you his boy, you involved in this, and we we want to fight. Like I'm just. I'm just put it out there. Like. Okay, sure. Well, don't involve me. I'm not involved. So, don't worry about that. 
<laughs> this the podcast. Mask got a mask. <laughs> Dude, don't even. Do you fucking. Don't be doing that shit to me. You get that shit out of me, dog. That nigga backed out Dude. quick. <laughs> Bro, you fucking. Okay, also, you fucking. You got me. I was believing the shit out of that when you. you, you like, I, I said podcast, and you were like, the fuck is that? I was like, oh my god. Son of a bitch, you <laughs> called me later than I expected, bro. I was, I was so. I was about to be on my game. Oh, no, shit, that's shit, insane. Shit. Yo, man, not that I wasn't about to stick up for you, but I was <laughs> I, I was gonna get my shit fucked. Right? <laughs> what the hold is <laughs> Yo, dude, okay. Uh, y'all some Wait, hoes, bro. man. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what's the what's the craziest job you ever had? Oh, uh craziest job I ever had. Ah, fuck. It wasn't crazy, but it was it was uh the de- fucking demanding. I had to uh I, I built lights for like hospitals and dentist office, and I had to work at like 5 a.m. for like a year. And the shit wasn't like crazy, but she was demanding and tough as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. I know, I, 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 that's a too, I think it described your job. <laughs> Hey, somebody's got to fucking make it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, man. somebody do got to make it, man. I oh, feel man. You. <laughs> bro, appreciate you coming on nah, the pod, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, dude, hey, thanks for having me, boys. I, nah, I hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, scary ass to you. Um, I got a question for you. If you could make up a new law that would go into, that would go into effect tomorrow, what would it be? Huh. You can take your time. Too long. We 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 got we we can edit it, so you can take your time. Not too long, no. Okay, work. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna take too long. Uh, I mean, first thing that came to mind is just like fucking drug shit, like free, for, like that that uh, you know, you know n- no tax and nothing on weed or like LSD and shit, <laughs> or I don't know, just. Fucking, I don't, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with that actually. <laughs> man, you can make any law in the world, you. He said, man, the tax on weed has to stop. He said, LSD. Well, 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 the thing is, if it's legalized, it's going to be taxed, so I'm trying to avoid both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this was great. Appreciate you coming on the podcast, bro. Yeah, anytime, boys. Thanks, right, for, thanks for calling me. Thanks for the content. Hey, appreciate it. See you, All right, take it easy. All right, bye, Max. That's still, y- y'all still friends? <laughs> yeah, stop. <the> <laughs> hey, you. You're about the Kanye West 21 Jump Street shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You didn't know? You didn't hear about it? I, I saw. I thought that was fake. No, it was. He came back to uh, Instagram and then said that um, he doesn't hate Jewish people anymore because of um, Jonah Hill, Twenty One Jump Street. Jonah Hill is like the perfect introduction. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. like I feel like everybody should have. You know, what is our what is our person, mm-hmm. right? Jonah Hill, I feel like is a great representation for Jewish people. You think so? Hell yeah. I'm trying to think of other Jewish people. There's a lot, bro. I think Lil Dicky is Jewish. Lil Dicky's. <laughs> I don't know if he's the greatest. <laughs> he said he wanted to bang Michelle Obama. Yeah. Lil Dicky said that? Yeah, in a freestyle. It's a really good freestyle, too. <laughs> you think that was on uh, Obama's... Um... It's on Sway. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, well, you think that was on Obama's... Uh... You know he does that playlist. No, hell no. <laughs> that would be crazy. No, that would be insane. <laughs> but is he dissing his wife? That'd be insane. Why this dude Soldier Boy really mad? Oh I yeah. Don't, I don't get why rappers <laughs> get mad, especially if you're not the. Fa- I, I feel like even people that are fan, like I'm not a fan of anybody. Where I would just be like sit outside their hotel and wait for an autograph. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there are people I'll have dinner with. Yeah. In that same sense, it's like a very slim list. Like it's like one or two people. Mm-hmm. It's like LeBron and Drake. Like yeah. Are you going to tell the people what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I get there. Yeah. But Soldier Boy is mad that people are taking. So the, the question is, would you rather take $250 in food stamps or have dinner with Soldier Boy? How many? 
$250 in food stamps. So basically mm-hmm. $250 worth of food. You only yeah. spend it on food or dinner with Soldier Boy. It's just like, like, how do you not, like, why do you get offended by that? Yeah, because obviously it's a joke, too. Like, in, like it, it pretty much trying to compare you to, like, food stamps. That's not a joke. You would take the food stamps? 100%. <laughs> Did this dinner with Soldier Boy? Dinner with Soldier Boy? Like, honestly, Soldier Boy is a GOAT. Like, just change the game mm-hmm. and all that. But what the fuck that got to do with me? <laughs> I need $250 I, of groceries. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would take the dinner. That's insane. Just to just to take it. Just to be yeah. different. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? The whole time, soldier. <laughs> I mean, I, just, I'm not like it's not like I'm going there for information. I guess anything. in my position, when I take the dinner, yeah, yeah I'd be just, like, oh, soldier, come on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if he say no, I'd be like, you motherfucker, I should have took that two fifty. <laughs> I should have definitely. Took soldier that boy two. be a funny person to have on on the pod. No, he'd be perfect. He'd be perfect. I saw this CNN uh, post on Twitter. It said, if you're white and you've used it, a, if you've posted a GIF or a meme of a black person to express a strong emotion. You may be guilty of wearing digital blackface. Mm. I saw that. Mm. The, uh, most of the gifts are black, and some of the fu- most of the funnier, funnier ones. memes. Because black people are the best at making memes. Mm-hmm. Like the people that participate in the memes that are black, and the actual people that clip them are usually black. Mm-hmm. So it's just like it's like a black thing. It's really like the best memes are black because in our culture the most popular things happen. Yeah. Like, I, I just can't explain it. Like, what's the best, what's the best white meme? Ooh, that's a good question. Because you got to think like, as I'm going to look at my meme folder right as now. As funny as Will Ferrell is, he doesn't have that many memes. That's true. That are like, that. Pe- I'm talking video yeah, memes. Kinda, you're, you're right. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like, yeah. as funny as he is, as funny as Adam Sandler is, as funny as like, all these like, white stars are, they don't have many memes. It's like, yeah, black, there's like black, mostly black. like unknown white guys. Yeah, like yeah, there's a lot of black people in my meme. Like folder. just like give like a <laughs> thumbs up. Like black people run memes, bro. It's just like, are you looking up a? You suck on wee wee. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> That's my favorite meme. Whoa, why? I don't know. Listen. Why? Wait, wait. What? Nigga, do you suck on wee wee? <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> we gotta have a, a meme off. <laughs> One one of these days on the podcast. Hell yeah. On Patreon. That would be funny as hell. What else happened? So let's go back to the TikTok ban. Mm. These people are grilling the TikTok CEO with all these questions and stuff, trying to get a ban. Mm. It's like, bruh. They, y'all, we ain't even got gun control. Like, you, <laughs> like these motherfuckers trying to get rid of TikTok before they get rid of, like, get good gun control. Like, what the fuck? I never think so. How get- about, wait, wait, wait. One thing else. <laughs> these motherfuckers trying to ban TikTok. How about banning motherfuckers? Black people from getting killed at traffic stops. Yeah. Ban that. Ban cops killing people and going back to work. <laughs> nigga, ban these nuts, nigga. <laughs> Some of the clips from that shit is so funny, too. It's like... From kind of, cops? No, 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 no. <laughs> just the like, TikTok ban. The TikTok ban. <laughs> but it's like... I like love, I'm sorry. I love make, making Max really nervous because he'd be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to... Back to TikTok band. Okay, okay. <laughs> not, not niggas getting shot. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> gotcha, uh, gotcha. The other thing. Gotcha. The congressmen are like asking them dumbass questions. Like, they, they ask them like, does TikTok connect to Wi-Fi? Like, that was one of the questions they asked. They mm-hmm. always ask dumb questions in, in those things. Bro, there's a fucking game to them. But, they argue about stuff that's going to affect us. So it would be like, me and you... Uh, Got a, got a small business and somebody flooded our business. Yeah. And it's a law, some loophole in the law that lets people flood people's business as long as they own the land that it's on. Mm-hmm. And we at Congress trying to get it figured out. This is our livelihood. And these motherfuckers be debating it like it's a game and then go get lunch at Chipotle together. <laughs> like, boy, you was cooking me. <laughs> I didn't even know you was going to You was saying, I didn't even know you was going to whip out the, the 1962 law on me. That's crazy. Yeah, them niggas' business is done. <laughs> and the crazy thing, too, is that... um. They did this with Mark Zuckerberg, too, when they were grilling him about yeah. Facebook and stuff like that. I feel like all this is going to lead to nothing. It's hard to, like, again, we like we said before, like, it's hard to just outright ban something. And I also think there's a little jealousy in play here um, with, like, the other, like, big players in the game, like Instagram and, like, Twitter Hell and yeah. YouTube, where it's like, we're all American companies and this and that. Because that at the end of the day is all these companies, they track us. Like, Facebook tracks us. 
Yeah, most Google of, tracks us. Most of them. Do. Everybody tracks. It's Without just about you saying shit. It's just about who has the information. Like, why do we, if, in, in general, why do we care if China has our information? It's, it's like, would you rather America have your information or China? It's like, they both going to do sell it at some point to something for their own benefit. People don't know that's the biggest money maker in the world. Yeah, it's not selling any, any items, products. It's selling information. If you got a boatload of information on people, like if for some reason, if you had information on uh, everybody that owned a, this type of boat that's over this type of price, like that amount of information is worth a lot of money. Just Bro, simple as that. This is like a little side hustle idea for some people that want to do it. But like I had a Get client. Get a job, nigga. I had a, a client who made, um, who paid like 10 grand for a list of emails and names. And I think it was like, it was like 10 grand. And it was only like maybe 200, 300 list because somebody, so like a health professional, like a health fitness person, they ran an ad on Facebook, Instagram and got leads for like a, anybody interested in fitness stuff and like that. And they then sold it to that company saying, Hey, I ran ads for this, you know, this thing. And these are people that who you can call and close yourself. Cause it usually works with like high ticket items, but these people you can call yourself and close and then you can make money from that. So you can make way more than $10,000 with that, but it's just kind of interesting way. There's like all unlimited ways to like, like you said, sell your information and that shit is valuable. I feel like, I feel like you shouting out the audio listeners right now, calling them broke. How? Because some of them, I said, <laughs> I, I, I said, I said last episode that if you make under $10, hit me up. Mm-hmm. I ain't say I was going to get you a job or nothing, nigga. I just want to see all the broke niggas pop out. <laughs> <laughs> you make under $10 in your inbox, me, nigga, fuck you. Be better. <laughs> under $10 is not nah, bad. Nah, just playing. Them my boys, though, that are the ones that reached out. The ones that didn't reach out that's under $10, hey, man, hit me up. I got some work for you. Is t- under ten dollars livable in America anymore? No, they got to be in college. Yeah. It has to be because that's what those jobs do around there. They like that's why you walk into a Jimmy John's and it's all college kids. Yeah. There's no grown man working in Jimmy John's unless he just got out. <laughs> Imagine somebody making your number four with a nah, teardrop. The crazy part is somebody that might be listening <laughs> to this to actually work at Jimmy John's because they like working at Jimmy John's. Nah, that that's always insane. That's why you got to watch them like mom and pop bars. It's somebody in there. That did 20 years in prison. Yeah. And they always washing the dishes hard as hell. Because they not trying to go back. They on a second strike. If you had to work at one fast food place, what would you work at? I would work at Chick-fil-A. I wouldn't. I couldn't do it. You gotta be that sick. whole over nice yeah. thing shit, that shit is way too over nice. Yeah, because then you can... Somebody can still be rude to you, and you can't even talk back. At least, like, McDonald's, Wendy's, yeah, and other, know, they right. give you free reign. Like, that nigga say fuck you, you can say fuck you back. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... I feel and like, still keep your job. Yeah, I feel like y'all work at McDonald's, and I just wear a Montclair every day. <laughs> <laughs> then I see the nigga, bro, I'm so tired of seeing these niggas. Bro, I saw I, somebody wearing, like, I saw somebody wearing a Barberry, uh, well, no, it was like a Barberry um, jacket at McDonald's, the drive through yeah. Man, I'm so tired of seeing these niggas walking. Like, I'm looking at you walking, and I can calculate your outfit. It's at least seven fifty on mm-hmm. seven hundred fifty. Let's say resale, uh, you knock two fifty on. That's five hundred. I'm guessing you got some more shit. You at least got three thousand dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, you got to think, right? Mm-hmm. Some people really do have all that shit, and they won't get up. Like you, right? You got fucking Cartier lenses, and you walking, nigga. <laughs> Put them lenses on some headlights. <laughs> Get a whip. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I see that all the time. Obviously, some people going through stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? Them the only clothes they got. But shit, sell that shit. <laughs> Downgrade. It's okay. to. That's what's, pro- that's what's wrong with a lot of people. They trying to keep up and shit. Every time you get ahead, you trying to keep up. Like uh-huh. you knew you couldn't afford that BMW. Your, <laughs> your car payment eight fifty two. That shit beating you down. Your rent eight fifty two. That's sixteen hundred. Interest rates rate like sixty percent. You make it eighteen hundred. You got two hundred dollars left to eat, nigga. <laughs> a, a month. <laughs> Or the people that get like that new iPhone every time it comes out, like as soon as it comes out. That yeah. was me. That was then the new iPhone every year. That was like a me thing for so long. I also don't get that. It's just like until I stopped. Like I, when I like the this one I got really because I needed more space on my phone. Yeah. So I need, I got like the five hundred uh, megabytes. Yeah. Get your money up. But um, <laughs> I should have terabyte. 
No, it's not. It's, it's. I swear it's not. <laughs> you hate it. No, I might hate. Hey, pull no, your shit up. I, I bought it. Pull I your bought, shit up. Bought, pull your shit my up. My iCloud is a terabyte, bro. Like, nigga, I'm talking about your in storage phone. Nigga, I, get off my in storage dick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, but also the iPhone thing is like a lot of these companies obviously don't get gypped, but a lot of these companies will like you can get the. You probably won't get every new iPhone, but you get every other one. That's why I'm, I'm on right and now. And make payments on a iPhone while you're paying your bill. It helps get your credit right mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I don't understand these people that actually be dropping like all the money for the iPhone. It's every insane. year for the same phone. For the same. It's with, a di- is, with a different color that you're going to put a case over anyway. Hey, all I say is I don't care what iPhone you got. I don't care what iPhone you got. If you got a button, though, stay the fuck away from me, nigga. A what? A button. The middle button? Oh. You still got the middle button? <laughs> hey, it That's look like true. you made some mistakes in your life. Don't you hate... Like, How I have do you no- have that phone? I have nothing against people that use Android. It's just I hate just being in group chats with people that got Android. So. I re- you know what I'm saying? Like, if I meet up with you and I, like, know you in person, and my boy Dylan got an Android, mm. you better have the top Android, which he does, and I respect that. But, I but just if the- I meet up with you and you got, like... You got bottom tier Android, like like a Motorola, or like something. motherfucker. The the emoji still like the half of the green dude. Yeah. Come on, man. But I, I just hate it in group chats because you like have a normal conversation. You know how you can like heart something or like yeah. thumbs up it, and it says Patrick just thumbs up your message. Yeah, I always lead a group after that <laughs> shit. I don't give a fuck. It it, su- it sucks though that Android hasn't adapted to that. And iPhone did a really really good job. Of like making people feel isolated if they have an Android. Yeah. Because it's not that big of it a It was social media that really made it. It's just yeah. it's just Android cameras like compress so much when get posted to any social media yeah. where it looks bad. But their on camera cameras are r- way better than, That's what I'm saying. than it's like, iPhones. They got all that camera, but they can't get it to the social media. It's yeah. like, oh, you took that shit in 5K, nigga. It looks 0K online. Yeah, it nigga. looks so bad. You're out of case. The worst part, I got, bully, K, K, I got bullied. I got bullied. Looks very racist. <laughs> you I think got, the KKK? If you was in front of the KKK and they were chasing you, you think you'd get away? If I would get away, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're chasing me, yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> I think I would. What would you say to the KKK? If me? You met one? It depends on if I'm what position I'm in. If they like, said, if they say, you, if you, hey, you can interview them. Oh, like anonymously, or they know who I am. They know who you are. Like, imp- we're going to be in person? Yeah. Are we in a mutual spot? I get to bring my people to? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could definitely interview you. What would you say to them, though? Like, what was the... Because I know you cracked some type of joke. No, I wouldn't crack no joke. I asked him a serious question. Like, um, like, you know, sometimes the the f- the food we eat mm-hmm. makes us... Why are you looking at me like <laughs> Sometimes the food we eat makes us act differently. Uh-huh. So I imagine every KKK member just takes a bottle of ketchup, squeezes it in their mouth every day, and then just says, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane to live with that much hate and like... And hide your face with it, though. That's the I, thing. Like, that's, it sounds I like very any, draining if, to if be anybody's a KKK hating, member. If anybody hates any type of group of people, at least put your face on it. Like, it, be bold about yeah, it. Yeah, it's also a mental illness. Yeah. So. Racism is definitely a mental illness. Like, being, like, stereotyping someone, uh, being prejudiced because of experience, that all, that all comes, like, with your life experiences. Mm. But, like, racism, like, hating another color because you think another color is better, like, not being able to tell, like... You're you're fucking stupid. Why are you rubbing your head like that? Cause you got black skin, melanin, man. Show them superior race. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god! I can't wait till we had a race where I'm gonna blow Tony Hawk head off. <laughs> you're not even gonna recognize him. You know, I'm, t- I'm tired. I'm tired of people. Yeah, I know that's the that's the joke. Mm. I'm tired of people saying they're gonna have a hard time killing him. I handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, shout out to Tony Hawk, man. Why, why was Tony Hawk your go-to for? Because a- anytime someone starts a race war, they we talk about all the because people we love Tony Hawk. Black people love Tony Hawk. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> we love Tony Hawk. Sean White. Sean White's cool. Hell no. You don't like Sean White? Oh, that's Carrot Top. We don't fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I be getting mixed up sometimes. <laughs> um, who else we like? We like Jonah Hill. Yeah, we like Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill Fire. We like Will Ferrell. Uh, we love Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, yeah, yeah, for sure. Adam Sandler. Like, people like this, like, if it was a race where it started, like, these would be the last people killed. 
You black people like Ashton? We like Ashton Kutcher. Uh, they don't be washing they, they don't be washing up like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll take showers. <laughs> <laughs> he did like, say that. We be trying to keep him around. We're like, man, I can't take it no more. You. I thought you said for, for. Oh no, you said for him. For I his kids too. Said. Yeah, yeah. Him and uh, Mila. Yeah. Don't, be, don't take showers every day. But you, people in other countries don't take showers every, every day. People walk around barefoot out there. What's as long as you ever took without taking a shower? Long, I mean, when I was younger. When I was younger, that was my goal not to take one. <laughs> if I was, bro, any six, seven-year-old boy, bro, that's our worst thing. Like, I don't want no fucking bath. I used to be sick. My mom be like, get in that shower. I'd be like, man, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I just got my hair to stick up like this. <laughs> Nigga, that's dirt. <laughs> so what? What? What's the longest you gone? I don't even know. It had to be when I was younger. Uh, what's the longest? When I was a grow, as like being like a grown man, like let's say fourteen over twenty one, no more than forty eight hours. Forty eight? Yeah, I was camping. <laughs> where you camp at? What you mean? Where I camp at? No, why you think you use that to think? Nigga, you lying. Camping? Yeah, where'd you go camping? Been camping before? You never been camping before? No, I've never gone camping either. Really? Y'all never been camping before? You go cra- camping with all your friends? No, I want smoke to. weed in the woods. Nah. Oh, I did go to uh, Indiana Dunes, but that wasn't like a school trip. One time, so I went camping with my friends. Uh, we all got high, and I thought it would be funny. I was like, "Oh, I'm about to go get some more." We had enough firewood there. I was like, "Oh, I'm about to go get some more firewood," and I was just like, "Oh, this gonna be dope." I had this bear noise, um, I had this bear noise on my phone, and I was gonna play it so I could scare everybody. So I walked, so I walked away. I came all the way back, and I'm behind the camp. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to scare the ass. In the bear noise play, everybody got scared, and I got scared too because I had never put my phone out my pocket. <laughs> I was like, this is a real fucking bear somewhere there. <laughs> so I came through, screaming through camp. I was like, ah, this was like, no, I'm playing it. And I'm trying to beg them, bro. I don't know if you ever beg somebody and you like the jokes or the group. Mm. That's the worst shit ever. I'm begging them. Like, bro, please, that wasn't me. They're like, no, that was you. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, that was not me, bro. Yeah. I was the only one that stayed up through the whole night. <laughs> I was, And it's crazy because if the bear were to kill me, Bear would have came to camp, I would have left quietly. <laughs> I swear just, to God. You would just not say anything no more? Nah, matter. and it'd just be like, and everybody go, whoa, where you lead him? Like, bro, I tried to warn him. I'm, <laughs> in our, but uh, if you ever see me in the woods with a bear. Save the bear. Help the bear, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the right. worst rap line ever. <laughs> no, I would never do, I don't get like why people like do dumb shit. I hate people that like, I hate people that do like dumb shit like, like, I would never go to Dubai and, like, pet a lion. Because I don't want the lion. Like, just my luck, the lion. Fun. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to feed him earlier. That's why he bit your arm or some shit. Yeah. Or you see those people stick they Like, they're not even trained. Even if they train. Like, it's just dumb, bro. Like, you're, you love animals that much, you'll let one kill you? <laughs> I, but people don't go into it thinking that, though. Like, you ever seen them dudes that be, like, hugging the bears? And the bears they go out nowhere. They always die. Every <laughs> single time. All the people, I think all the people that own all those big extreme animals. There was like the one lady that owned the orangutan. And the orangutan yeah, ripped, ripped her, her apart. face off yeah. and shit like that. It's just like, you After know, me, white people love owning monkeys. <laughs> Watch y'all niggas, man. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> That shit gotta like, be... That shit gotta... Real thing, but it's close. That shit gotta hurt... <laughs> Racist motherfuckers, bro. But, <laughs> but that no thing. white people should be allowed to own a monkey until they tell us why. <laughs> I just realized that. Quit giving these niggas monkeys, man. <laughs> but I think that shit got to hurt knowing, like, the animal you've been raising since a baby Ends up killing you because of a, a weird mood yeah. to it. Like the instinct just kicked in. Die, though, yeah. yeah, this is like there's an instinct just kicks in. It's just like, right. It just goes back to like what they were born you to do. Be trying to raise wolves and shit. Like it's just like you know what I'm saying. Certain people can't be saved. Sometimes you know it's natural selection. That way we ain't gotta like kill a bunch of people off at the same time. I'm just being real. <laughs> if it wasn't for dumb people, bro, we would be overcrowded. And then <laughs> they would have to start making, like, selections. Like, all right, all my left-hand 5A people, it's time to go. 
That would be insane. If insane. That, be, like, they do a drawing? Yeah. So, it, oh, that would be crazy. So, it was like. It's like anybody it's, over, it's like, anybody 6'1", 200 <laughs> pounds, you guys probably have, like, six more months to be here because we got to, like, make room for no, the next crop. Of- it's like a lottery, though. Like, oh, damn, it's been, you know, every year they have, like, the, you know, the populate. How, how do we get the population down? Oh, we got to do an elimination every year of, mm-hmm. of one type of person. So every year it like scrolls. It starts with the hands going left, right, left, right, right hand. Oh shit, it might be me. Go through height six one. Fuck. <laughs> Black. What the fuck? Me, Chris Paul. <laughs> That'd be insane to be in there with Chris Paul and be like, hey, <laughs> mass contract, yeah, mass contract to save you. <laughs> Nah, that'd be insane though. And it, it, I think NBA players would have like a clause or some shit. Like I'm, a, I'm removed. You can't take me out the population for at least five years. I'm removed from that little random generator shit. Nah, that'd be insane though. Your favorite guard gets sent to the uh, gulag. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean six eight? <laughs> would from, you, if you from ever St. Vincent, St. Mary's, if you ever the went king. To, <laughs> if you ever went to jail, who would you like be surprised to see there? What? If you went to jail, who would you think you'd be surprised to see this? I mean, they're like, why are you here? I'd be surprised to see myself there. What the <laughs> fuck? I'd be sick as fuck. I'd be so sick, bro. Every time I see when people get those, like, no matter who it is, obviously if they did something bad or whatever, but when they, they hand out the sentences, they say life, they say now, 30 years. The life, I'm, I always, the, the my, life shit don't bother me because it's usually like, usually when it, if you get in life, that means you probably kill somebody. I'm not saying bother me in the sense of like, the, it, like I'm mad for them. I just like, I put myself in that position just be like, damn. But when you think of the concept of you can have a clean record, right? Mm-hmm. And you just decide, let's say uh, Max bring in a blunt is laced with, you know, what white people do. They put crack in them. Just <laughs> 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 But Max let's say Max bring, <laughs> Max bring a blunt and we both smoke it. We start tripping out. We like, oh, we got to go rob a store, right? So we get a gun and rob a store. Never been in any trouble. We podcasters. I mean, I've been in a little trouble. But <laughs> we making you rob is such a weird parallel. I, no, I swear to God, bro. I hate <laughs> telling this story, but it was a dude I went to high school with. He got weed from somebody. They laced his weed and he got super paranoid took his uncle's gun and went around trying to rob people, like, for money. And he was just tripping out. Like, he was just so paranoid. Good kid. He not even like that. Mm. And got, like, 10 years in prison for, one like, one mistake. Hey, you can't be a lightweight. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> no, that's insane, though. <laughs> Call somebody lightweight for getting laced. Yeah. You should that's be able insane. to have at least, like, a couple things of, uh, of, of coke. I wonder how that would go. What? I'll be afraid, bro. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be I see. I get afraid. The difference between like I get I see, I see people do like coke, and they like freak out. I feel like I'll be able to withstand that. Like the coke, like I feel like I can get home and just like. But Please, when I see people like hit the crack, okay. Or even the fat. Listen, no. listen. When somebody told me they smoke weed, right, and they say, "Hey, I'm a weed head. I smoke every day." They could smoke. A blunt and you they smoking it like a fucking cigarette. Mm-hmm. Like it ain't even affected them. Uh the same time you see some people like with Coke, right? They sniff some Coke and they get up and go, woo, you know, and they good. You see crackheads that been doing crack for 50 years. When they hit that fucking pipe, they go. <laughs> like imagine a drug so strong you can't even build tolerance to act normal. Yeah. Like it fuck you up every single yeah. how many times somebody you you smoke with somebody and they smoke a lot, they'd be like, Yeah, I ain't even high. Mm. Like they built their tolerance mm. up. There's no tolerance for crack. Yeah, or like like drugs like hard ones like uh fentanyl. Fentanyl is crazy. Cause, cause bro. you ever see like the amount of like fentanyl for you to like OD on, it's like, bro, you can't even see it. Like That's what these dudes getting caught out here, like with pills, like, they have, like, some oxy pills, stuff with fit knowledge. It's like, bro, that shit is crazy. Like, are you trying to, like... Pill popping is still a weird thing to me. Bruh, like, I don't, I don't understand why you would take any pills that don't come from... Like, if you're not getting it yourself... Yeah. Or, like, or you don't know the person... Even if you're like, getting it legally, but, it's like, the legal way. Because, obviously, some of those pills are in the pharmacies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, if you ain't got, like, a pharmacy plug or something like that, you're getting it from a dealer... 
Like Which dealers, fun? dealers already, dealers already lie about like weed. Yeah. Like you know, they'll say you some mid or they'll say you some uh, fucking CBD, uh, all that shit. But to take pills from somebody and the pills, like, like they're just white pills. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you taking that? It's kind of crazy to me that there's some pharmacists out there that are risking their job <laughs> for some pints. Making bank. Yeah. I they guess. Make bank but pharmacists make a lot of money, too, like 100000 And they're making 100000 in a weekend. Yeah, but the risk there, the thing about it is, like, when you're, when the thing you're doing illegally can make you lose your job, and then you can't do that thing illegally anymore. It's just like, if he lost his pharmacy job, he then can't get them. I know. But not many people walk around with the... Uh, with the life changing thing next to them every single day. Yeah, I get so. Yeah, it was like every single day I had to come in here. Uh, I'm good. I'm making one twenty. I would never do that. Yeah. And a year go by. Hey, they only gave me ten thousand dollar raise. I'm making one thirty. You know, your wife come out of nowhere. She's like, "Oh, baby, we need this house." Mm-hmm. And you just looking at it like, "Damn, that's all the house money right there." Yeah, all I gotta do is get that shit to max, <laughs> and you gonna flip it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway. I think that's the end of the podcast. Oh, shit. That's God been, damn. That's been episode 92. 92. Yeah, be on the lookout for a podcast on Saturday. Um, yeah. Go watch record. 91. Go because watch 91. Your dumbass probably still watching this shit. We told you to go watch 91. <laughs> then go watch 93. Or go listen. Or go... Nah, go watch. <laughs> you know what it is, fuck niggas. All right. Also, you know, we're going to do a lot of different things on that episode. More of your input. Uh guests uh all type of shit just no said all type of shit all that shit all that shit <laughs> yeah, uh, merch coming soon all right y'all we don't like being lied to man i got you i swear i it's, promise you some it's technical not coming t- some te- soon. i have the, some technical difficulties i promise happening. you it's not coming i swear it's coming soon. i promise you i'm telling you i got y'all Inside i'm going to give and just because i keep say, pushing shit it back a little bit I'm going to get somebody a free shirt. I ain't, we ain't giving y'all free shit. I don't know. What are you talking about? We're going to get somebody on y'all a free shirt. I'll take the free shirt. I've been waiting just as long as you niggas. <laughs> I got you. Anyway, that's been episode 92. Thanks for rocking with us. Peace. Rocking with us. That's insane. I was trying to get a little. I was trying to, you know, trying Thanks to like, for rocking with us. Yeah. Thanks for fucking with us, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. Patreon. Patreon. That's it. Yeah. <laughs>